One of the first experiences I had as a new beekeeper was amazing. Um, I had been praying for a swarm in the spring, and my Father in Heaven delivered one to me right at the end of my sidewalk. So you walk out my front door and you look up basically and in the tree branch right there was my swarm. <laughs> so it was just amazing and exciting. My whole family came out, my brother-in-law, my sister came out and their family and helped me, you know, climb up the ladder and get this swarm and put it in my brand new top bar hive. And my husband even said, he said, Dash, I don't know anyone that prays for a swarm and actually gets it delivered to our front door. It was just amazing. Everybody was saying for weeks, you know, the wind and waves, they still know his name. Anyway, it was so exciting. So I put it in, in my brand new top bar that me and my brother-in-law had built and there was no comb in there. So they left. A few days later, I went to check on them and they were gone. So it was such a low from the high of that wonderful delivery. It was like a kiss from my father to the low of ah, my beekeeping adventure has ended, you know, so just, just as it begun. And so a lot of the time that can happen when you have a top bar hive or a Langstroth hive without any built out comb in it. The bees can easily decide to leave. That comb really gives them incentive to stay. So this time when I got my package, me and my brother law split a package, the cost of a package, and I was determined that that wasn't going to happen this time. And so continue to watch the video and I will show you my secret to getting that comb in there so that your bees will stay. We just got our package. The UPS guy delivered it. But right now I want to ready the hive for my bees. I've got this runner board with a hole in it. So I'm going to put their food on this side of the hive at the empty part so they can go through that hole and eat it. And I'm going to leave them 10 frames to put their, um, to put the hive in. And I have got some beautiful comb that my Langstroth hive built this. I wanted to share something about the top bar. And that is, a lot of people have a top bar and they don't have any comb um, in it. And so they want, they're going to put their package in there and there's no comb. And so a lot of times the bees will leave. So what you want to do is get some comb and one of the easiest ways to do that is I'm going to show you. These top bars are the same width as the Langstroth hive. So what I did was I had a Langstroth hive, so I put the bar in the Langstroth hive, let them build it out, and then I took it out and I had it for the next year for my top bar. So even if you don't have a Langstroth hive, you might have a friend with one. You can build your top bars the same width, build the body of your top bar hive the same width as a Langstroth. And these are the same width as Langstroth, so they just sit into the box. So that is one really good way to get comb. At one point, I needed some baby bee larvae. So I was able to put this in one of my Langstroth hives and then take it out, brush the bees off, and put it in my hive to get it started again when they didn't have a queen. So I had three day old eggs. That's all capped honey. That's what I love to see. Looking great so far. Going into winter, they had a lot of honey. We're 
money. I probably could have taken more in the fall for myself and my family, but um, I just wanted to make sure they had enough to get through this winter because we've had a hard time getting started and keeping going. But they're doing great. Okay, now we're finding some more bees. We'll see if we can find Her Majesty. Oh, I see somebody with pollen right there in the woods. That's a good sign. Pollen's coming in. Moving up there. Right there, moving up. Under those bees, though. See her? Yeah. Okay. That's awesome. Yeah. Are they all like sniffing her? Well, they're all managing her. Looks like they're having her lay eggs. all covered. She's right there, but she's under those bees. I know, I see her. Okay. Good shot. Oh, she's going in there. Yeah, she's laying an egg. Look. Yeah. Okay. I love to see that. Her Majesty gets a chill. <laughs> you might be wondering with this top bar hive, why is there so much headspace between the top of the hive and the bars? So I'll show you what we designed was a hybrid top bar. And what it is, is it's designed to be a length strip on top. So I can put these queen excluders. This is a queen excluder because the bees can come through but the queen can't. So she can't lay eggs. In this box, this is my honey box. I just want honey in here for my family, and I don't want to go worry about destroying any eggs or, you know, having eggs. So, oh, so this okay. is the honey. So this is once they built this whole thing out, then we're gonna put these on top with a queen excluder, and then this just fits over this like so. All right, so the honey box just fits in this top part. So the way the bees can get up from the bottom of the hive into the top. Is we designed these spaces with these right here. We cut a bunch of these so I can make spaces in my hive for them to get up here and and store the honey, which I'm going to collect for my family, hopefully. And then when I close it, there's no opening there or in the back. For any other bees to get in and for them to come and go there's not an ent another entrance so 
So I thought it was pretty ingenious. So we'll see how it works. We haven't gotten to experience it yet because they have built out to about here. And they were a spring package last spring. So this is their second year. They're doing great. They look really good. And we're hoping they're gonna build this whole thing out this year. And then we're, we can put on our honey boxes. So we'll see. We got a little bit of honey off of them in the fall because they had plenty to get through the winter. So, so that's exciting. So that's about my top bar that my wonderful brother-in-law built for me. I helped, but, so I guess you could say we did it together, but he's the, you know, he basically did it, but I helped a little. He made me feel a part of it, so that was very sweet. <laughs> <laughs> Love that. So, can't wait for spring, can't wait for a busy season of beekeeping to start again. So exciting. And both my hives are doing great coming into the spring, so I'm so excited about that. It's amazing, isn't it?